Welcome to part one of the demo series on controlling capture and retrieval of personally identifiable information using Brava Enterprise. My name is Dave Hinkle, and I'm a solutions consultant at OpenText. Virtually all industries have personally identifying information within their business documents. PII is stored in both structured and unstructured documents. Privacy laws are changing at a rapid pace, and many regulations govern the disclosure of PII. Failure to adequately control disclosure of PII can lead to fines and other penalties for noncompliance. I'm going to show you how PII can be easily removed from a stored form using Brava Enterprise. Imagine I'm a loan specialist at a mortgage lender. My customers, Mike and Julia, are in the process of buying a home, and they've requested that I send a copy of their loan application to Pete at their insurance company so they can get a quote for their homeowner's insurance. I have access to the loan application form, but my company policy says I can't share a certain customer PII with third parties. I'm going to show you how I can quickly and easily fulfill the customer's request while complying with my company's privacy policies. So let me go ahead and show you now. I've got the uh, loan application from Mike and Julia open in my Brava client. My task now is to redact the PII from the document. For example, if I come down here to page two, you'll notice that there's lots of personally identifying information. For example, uh, if I come down and zoom to this, you'll notice that there's social security numbers. I've also uh, got to redact things like email addresses, bank information, etc. Now I could go through this document from top to bottom and try to manually find each one of these uh, personally identifying information items. But fortunately, Brava has many built-in find and redact capabilities that are going to save me a lot of time. So to begin redacting the PII, first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and I'm going to create a new markup. Markup is where Brava stores the redactions and any other types of annotations that I put on the document. I should point out that Brava doesn't alter the original source document. Like I mentioned, everything that I do now is going to be stored in this new markup file that I'm creating. And then when I finalize the redactions, I'm actually going to be publishing a new PDF rather than modifying this uh, original PDF. So now that I've got my new markup, I'm going to switch to my redactions toolbar palette. You see the Brava HTML client provides nine different redaction tools, but I'm only going to need to use a couple of them for this particular document. The first tool I'm going to use is one of the more powerful ones. I can redact PII using built-in search and redact patterns in the Redact Privacy Information tool. So I'm going to go ahead and select that tool. And you'll see that I've got several different redaction patterns. And I've already uh, got these social security numbers, four different types of credit card numbers, and email address patterns selected. So now all I have to do is click the Redact button. And you'll see that it says six redactions are created. If I want to see the details, I'll expand that. It looks like there were two social security numbers, a couple different kinds of credit card number, account numbers found, and a couple email addresses found and redacted. If I close that, you'll notice now on my navigation bar, in addition to being able to use page thumbnails, I can navigate between the redactions. So if I come and click over here on the left, it'll take me to the first thing redacted, which was that first social security number. And you'll also note that in this case, it thinks that I'm William Jones, and it's got the created and modified date on each one of these. I can just quickly navigate through another social security number, credit card number one, another credit card number, and the different email addresses. I'm going to just change my zoom so you can see it a little better as I go kind of go through that very quickly. So that was pretty quick and uh, powerful, but my compliance policies say I also need to remove any bank account information. Let me come back to my page navigator bar. And I know that I had some bank account information on page four of our application form. Let me change the zoom level. And you'll see here are those uh, credit card numbers that were found with the Redact privacy information. But over here to the left of it, I've got a uh, little bit less structured area of 
bank information where the account numbers don't fit nice neat patterns to find. So instead, I'll just simply use a redact area tool. I'm going to redact all of the bank account name, account number, and balance information. And I want to change my redaction reason to PII. So I've got that added over here into my list of redactions. And now I want to come back to my page navigation uh, thumbnails. And I know that I've got signatures at the end of our loan application form that I also need to redact according to our policy. So I'll go to those. And I'll come down here to the bottom of the page and I see my signatures. I'm going to just keep it with that same redact area tool. Redact first signature and the second signature. So now I know I've redacted the PII that is required before I share it outside of the company. Before I publish this to a new PDF, I want to save my markup because if I want to come back and modify it or check my work, or if someone needs to come back and look at the audit of that by opening the markup and seeing who created the redactions, which ones were they, when were they created, et cetera, that's going to be stored in this markup. So I'll just call it Dave's Redactions. And now I want to publish it. So I'm going to use my Publish to PDF and I've already got finalized redactions selected, so that looks good. And now I'll go ahead and click Publish. And now this will download the PDF to my browser, which I've got my browser set to open those in Adobe Reader. So here I am in Adobe Reader. This is how it's going to look when I send it to Pete. Pete's going to open it up. He's going to see this PDF, and let me... Zoom in a little bit here on page two, and you can see I've got social security numbers redacted, emails redacted, and where I've got the emails there, I just want to show you that the data is really redacted and removed from the document. It's not just hidden behind that, and I can show you that by doing a search. I'm going to search for an at sign, because that should be in my email address. And you can see zero of zero occurrences were found of an at sign. Kind of just a quick way to illustrate that the, the data behind that black box has actually been removed from the PDF, so it's no longer searchable. So Bravo has given me the confidence that I'm adhering to my organization's compliance policy. I've got a PDF that I can send to Pete, and I know that it's got the PII safely removed, securely removed. I just showed you how easy those redaction tools were to use and how much time they're going to save me. With just a few clicks, I was able to find and redact some of those common PII data types like social security numbers, credit card numbers, etc. And I was also able to use the, the easy to use redact area tool for things like signatures or the bank account portion of the page. You saw how I was able to, to save my redaction work so I could come back, make modifications if necessary, if I want to recheck my work, or if someone else wants to recheck my work of what was redacted. And the last part is I showed you that Brava's output, uh, that redacted PDF, the underlying data has been truly redacted. It's not just obscured. Brava gives me control over personally identifying information so I can comply with privacy policies and regulations and maintain the trust of my customers, in this case, Mike and Julia. If you have questions about OpenText Brava, please email our sales team at igc underscore sales at opentext.com or visit our website page at opentext.com slash explore dash brava. Thank you for watching part one of controlling PII using Brava Enterprise.